better late than never, and in fact Royal Ascot gains from having been postponed, for this most brilliant of meetings opens for once with weather to match. And thank heaven there's not much wind. A girl can wear a hat without worrying. The Queen arrives with Princess Margaret. Her Majesty has Sarah Nevada entered for the second race, the St. James's Palace Stakes. Sarah Nevada joins the parade for the second event. A handshake from the Queen for Jockey Carr. But Sierra Nevada's out of luck today. After a promising start, he finishes fourth. Sir Bernard and Lady Docker are here, and so is all fashionable London. Though who's under that, we don't know. The Princess is on her way to watch the big event of the opening day, the Ascot Stakes. A field of 15 parades in the paddock, and now's the moment for those last bets. Romney Legend, Prescription, Wild Noir, Lester Pickett on Little Cloud, it's so difficult to concentrate on horses. And now it's too late. They're coming down the street the first time round, with Crossmount leading by about four lengths, followed by Palace Guard. Corridalis is up there too. Rounding the bend for the finish, it's Little Cloud, closely followed by Harwin and King Conkers. The field's well bunched up, and it's anyone's guess now. Little Cloud's being hard-pressed with Harbin only a neck behind, and King Conkers and Romney Legend closing up. Now prescriptions gaining ground. But who's this? Gaston, a number 16, Wildnor, overtakes with a terrific burst on the outside. And at the post, it's Wildnor, prescription, Romney Legend. A grand victory for Jockey Gaston and a grand opening for Royal Ascot.